Okay, um, hello everyone. Um, I hope you all are doing well. Okay, so in this video, let's talk about uh, narrowing and widening conversions. Okay, so I'll create an integer variable. I'll call it number. And I'll create a short variable. And I'll call it short number. And I'll initialize short number to, let's say, 2. Semicolon. Now, on the next uh, couple of lines, I'm going to attempt to store the content of short number into number, right? And so I'll say number is equal to short number. Let's create a system that out dot print statement, print ln statement, to display the content of number, right? Let's just add a string. It's always nice. The content of number is. Let's concatenate it to or, or it with the content of number. So compile this run this and it says the contents of number is 2 meaning it was able to store the content of the short number basically the content of short number was it was was stored in number and it, it did it, it did that with no problems right why because we know that number is has a type of integer and, and integers basically have a larger capacity they can store numbers of um, you know you know basically basically larger numbers right a short also it can store a, a certain range of numbers. We looked at um, the, all the, the various types. Now, this was a, this was successful because an integer can store basically all the numbers that can, you know, it can store all the numbers that a short number can hold, right? And even more, an integer, ha you know, basically has a higher rank, can store all the numbers that a short number can, a short uh, number can hold, and even more. It's bigger. It it's basically can store bigger numbers. Every no, every number that a short number can hold, and then you know even more, and so that's why this was successful. Now let's try something bigger. All right, let's create another variable. Let's call it. First of all, let's make it to double and let's call it double number. And let's set it equal to let's say five point zero. Now let's attempt to store the content of double number in number double number in number right and over here we'll try to display the content of number so compile this and over here we see there's an error message that says possible loss of precision now this wasn't possible this failed because we know that num double number is a, is a double so it's of type double and numbers of type integer now we are we are trying to store a decimal something basically basically a, a double value which has in decimal places basically a double number because it has decimal places can store you know way bigger numbers way bigger numbers that an, an, a number uh, sorry an integer variable can't hold but an, integer, an integer variable has a limit it can only store an, uh, numbers in a specific range double can store even bigger numbers way bigger numbers so in other words you're trying to store something that is way bigger than what an integer can hold and we know number is an integer and that's why this has failed it's saying possible loss of precision because it's like if you're forcing it to store something that's way bigger than what this can hold then it will only store what this can hold and do away with the rest and basically throw away the rest and so it's telling you that hey you if i do that if you force me to do that you will lose data if you're storing something way bigger than what this can hold I will only store what I can hold, and then the rest I'll throw it away. So it's telling you you can lose data, and so I'm not going to do this. That's what it's telling you. It's, it's telling you that I'm requiring an integer because I can only store integers. But here's a case you're giving me a double. I found a double, and double is way bigger than than me. So it's it's telling you I won't do this because if I do this, you will lose data, and I don't want you to lose data. All right. So in the other case where we were trying to store short number in number. We know that worked. And so what happened was, it, you know, basically Java, because there wasn't any possible loss of data, Java was able to do it, right? So in the case where you're trying to store something that has a smaller range in something that has a bigger range, Java is able to do that. And that, pro that, that process is called basically a widening, conver wi a widening conversion. Java basically converts this number to the bigger type and stores it in so this an integer is bigger than 
a shot, right? And so Java basically, you know, widens this and, and makes this fit in something bigger. This is small, it, makes, it says, okay, you're small, now I'm going to make you big enough so you can you know fit in this. I'm going to widen you widen you up so you can fit in here. It's called widening conversion. Now the other way the other way around when we're trying to store dub, the double number here, compile this. We said we saw possible loss of precision. In the case where you're trying to, <coughs> I'm sorry about that. In a case where you're trying to store something. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know where this came from. In a case where you're trying to store something that's bigger than than what this integer variable can hold, what you're well, what you are what you are attempting to do over here is called narrowing conversion. Right? Now, Java doesn't automatically you know do narrow conversion because again, uh, we more talked about it. It knows that you're going to lose data, so it won't do it. It, it say it says I'm not going to do it because you're going to lose data. So it allows you to do it yourself. It says, okay, if you want to do it, go ahead and do it, but I'm not going to do it for you. And there is a way to actually convert, uh, basically narrow narrow um, these values, basically convert these values in a narrow manner. Okay, so widening conversion is when you're trying to store something of a smaller range into something of a bigger range. Java automatically converts the smaller range to the bigger range. And, and, and basically, wide, wide, even though it's small, it widens it up so it can fit in the bigger type in the case where you're trying to store something of a bigger range in something of a smaller range that process is called a narrowing conversion java doesn't do that because it, it knows you're going to lose, lose data it, it, uh, but it allows you to do it and actually it brings you it brings us to the point can, can we actually do that even though you're going to lose data yes you can and we're going to talk about that in the next video that's that's actually called typecasting we'll talk about that in the next video and so we talked about numbers, right? We talked about numbers. Let, let me take this back to short number. We talked about numbers and basically all the, the, the ranges. Let me use a comment here to um, a comment here to basically show you the rank. So so double is the biggest, right? And then the next biggest type is float. The next is long int short and then byte okay so biggest smallest and this is the rank going down this is the biggest and this is the smallest okay if you're trying to store something smaller in something bigger it's a widening conversion if you're trying to store something bigger in something smaller it's a narrowing conversion java doesn't do that because you're going to lose the data but it but it allows you to do it yourself using a process called typecasting or using cast operators which we're going to talk about in the next next video okay i hope this makes sense um, and <clears throat> if you have any questions please comment down below and i'll do everything to respond to them thank you very much for watching take care of yourselves and i'll see you next time in, in the next video all right then bye bye